it's me, Debbie. Now, sobriety during pregnancy was pretty brutal, but even now that I'm breastfeeding, saying no to that post-gym sugar-free apple martini is hella rough. But you know what I always say, Abby? If it's not complete restriction, it's not worth doing. Am I right? Hey, Debbie. I totally agree. Abstaining from alcohol during pregnancy was really challenging. I mean, do you remember that video I did about the top foods that I was missing during pregnancy? If you haven't watched that video yet, you can definitely check it out right here. But I don't agree that you need to completely abstain from alcohol while breastfeeding. In fact, half of the women in the Western world drink some alcohol while nursing. Well, you know I'm not most women. And even so, when women who are breastfeeding drink alcohol, the alcohol gets into their breast milk and it's basically like feeding their babe a white Russian. So the research on breastfeeding and alcohol consumption has been a bit of a roller coaster. While some experts suggest that a little bit of alcohol may help stimulate milk production, other experts recommend the pump and dump method, which is basically where you pump your milk out and then dump it out after you've had a drink. Well, now I'm like super confused. What's the truth here, Ab? Well, I think the stigma here is around our tendency to treat drinking while breastfeeding the same way we treat drinking while pregnant. But these two situations are completely different. When we're pregnant, alcohol tends to go right from the mother's bloodstream into the placenta and can actually do quite a lot of harm to the developing fetus. But when we're breastfeeding, the metabolism of alcohol and its transfer to our milk is completely different. But like when you drink alcohol, even if it's just a little, it gets into the breast milk. Why would I want to feed that toxin to my baby? A comprehensive study found that the amount of alcohol that is ingested by a baby through breast milk is so little, it's pretty much negligible. Basically, the amount of alcohol that passes onto the breast milk is the same concentration that is found in the mother's blood. So here's an example, Deb. Let's say you go out for one of your daily sangria outings with your squad and you consume four glasses of sangria in one sitting. That's a lot of booze. So let's assume that your blood alcohol concentration is about 0.08% and therefore your breast milk also contains 0.08% alcohol. Now in contrast, a lot of fruit juices contain 0.1% alcohol just from fermentation. But that still means that my baby will have 0.08% alcohol in their bloodstream. I don't like that. Actually, Deb, just because your blood alcohol concentration is 0.08% doesn't necessarily mean the same thing for baby. If you were to breastfeed immediately after your sangria session, your baby's blood alcohol concentration would likely be closer to 0.05%, and this amount is likely to have little to no impact on your baby. Still, if I give in to my alcohol cravings, I'll only feel comfortable if I pump and dump. Listen, Deb, you do whatever you feel comfortable doing, but just know that studies have shown that the alcohol content in your blood peaks around 30 to 60 minutes after drinking, meaning your body starts to break it down and your blood alcohol concentration will start to decline. So if you're still really worried about it, rather than pumping and dumping that liquid gold, simply just wait over an hour before you feed. Interesting. Well, where's the research that suggests that drinking while breastfeeding will leave my baby unharmed? A study with over 400 women found that over 60% of them drank alcohol while breastfeeding, both at eight weeks and 12 months postpartum. The women had less than 14 drinks per week, and they found no association between drinking alcohol and the baby's overall health and development. Hmm, well that's a promising start. But what about those rumors that it actually can increase my breast milk supply? Can I safely enjoy my mojitos while actually increasing my output? Not so fast, Em. So a drink is often recommended to mamas who need to relax a little bit more in order to get a good pump or breastfeed. However, research has actually shown that alcohol may inhibit the role of oxytocin, which in turn may reduce breast milk release. However, this was only shown in mothers who had more than two drinks a day, so it's possible that just one drink a day is a better guideline. It's also not very concerning if a baby has a smaller feed at one breastfeeding session, because babies are so in tune with their hunger and satiety cues, they'll likely make up those calories later on in the day. Okay, so what about the impact on baby sleep? Will that glass of Pinot actually help my baby sleep better at night? Actually, Deb, maybe not. One study found that babies tended to sleep a little bit less following the exposure of alcohol in their mom's milk. However, this tended to only last about three and a half hours after feeding, and the babies made up that sleep in the next 20 hours. Well, Abby, you've definitely given me a lot to think about when it comes to alcohol and breastfeeding. I might just have to start living the everything in moderation life. So unlike me. Ooh. I like to hear that, Deb. You know, I think ultimately you've got to do what works for you, but don't make yourself miserable unnecessarily. 
One thing to know is that a lot of the studies that we cited were really short term, and we don't have a ton of great literature when it comes to long term effects of breastfeeding while drinking. The bottom line is there's usually some wiggle room when it comes to breastfeeding and drinking, as long as you stick to the general guidelines of no more than two drinks a day and 10 drinks a week. Drinking while breastfeeding is less about the safety of your milk and more about the safety of caring for your baby while under the influence. So if you're feeling tipsy, do not pick up your baby and never let your baby sleep with you or on you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me your comments below and your thoughts about drinking while breastfeeding. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.